Hello? Who's there? Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom Online, newly come to our fair video series to be washed clean with our weapon tips, our vigor strategies, and our questionable at best humor? Then welcome, weary internet user. Welcome to The Gun Show, the show that is kickstarting its own floating theocratic metropolis. We've decided to name it Gunstopia, and that's as far as we got. Send money, please, K, thanks. In this episode, we'll be talking about the guns and vigors of Bioshock Infinite. We'll be careful to avoid major story spoilers, but if you're the sensitive type who wants to discover absolutely everything about the game on your own, and you're still watching this video, you, my friend, are more misguided than these sheet-wearing sky racists who worship the funky fresh founding trio of Benji Franks, T. Jeff, and the original G-Dub. Now hold your breath and get ready to be reborn again for the very first time in this episode of The Gun Show. <laughs> oh, oh god, I'm alive. Oh. oh, I had this horrible dream. I was living in this crappy apartment and people were just hassling me about my student loans. Oh, more like bring us the girl once a month for the next 20 years and wipe away the debt. Am I right, grads? It's enough to make a guy long for simpler times, when you could stay up late, sleep in, get a nice brunch, row out to sea, climb a lighthouse, rocket into the sky, join a cult, and just hang out at the carnival like a regular person. Pretty cliche stuff, I know. And of course, it's all fun and games until someone gets brutally chiropracted by handheld industrial equipment. Oh, oh, that was worse than I was expecting. Yeesh. With executions like this, the Colombian cops should thank the Prophet when they simply get gunned down by a humble pistol. Which, coincidentally, is the first firearm you acquire in Bioshock Infinite. It does decent damage and fires as quickly as you can pull the trigger, so feather that index finger to outgun your opponents, and even edge around corners to take down any of those pesky gun automatons that ring their bells in your general direction. But only, of course, after you've made them work for you with a quick hit of the Possession Vigor. This saucy minx takes a lot of salt in the early game, so be sure to save up and purchase the boost from the vending machine that makes it cheaper to use. Once you can possess for less, this vigor becomes super effective! Enlist enemies to aid you in battle! Turn turrets to your advantage! Induce cash money vomiting from robo-vendors! Even have a thumb war with your little green ghost friend! Practically no side effects! Well, for you, at least. For these guys, uh, hey. At least it's not explosive diarrhea or a seven hour erection. I think we can all agree that death is more dignified than explosive diarrhea and seven hour erections. The pistol is a fine start, but rest assured this isn't the only sidearm you'll acquire. A bit later on, you pick up one of the best weapons in the game, the aptly named Hand Cannon. I mean, it doesn't literally shoot hands, but you know, metaphorically speaking, this big bad wolf is strong enough to blow any house down. Provided that by house, you mean head, and by down, you mean clean off. It probably won't soothe your 7th Cavalry PTSD, but it will make you feel like a badass gunslinger. Honestly, I could wax poetic about this powerful piece all day, but I think one of those old phonographs really captured the spirit of the hand cannon best. Six in the cylinder and we are ready to go. False prophet is about to make somebody's turn cold. Now they drop in and they yell and it's a tad bit late. Elizabeth and Booker D had to regulate. Now, throughout your Colombian travels, you'll encounter a wide variety of sanctimonious white people. I mean, jingoistic propaganda. I mean, garbage can hot dogs. I mean, machine guns. The machine gun, the repeater, the burst rifle, all these weapons are roughly similar, and all of them are super lame. Ugh. Sure, I mean, they put bullets into bad guys, but they're just about as exciting as a kinetoscope of a janitor mopping the floor. Ripping stuff. These assorted machine guns are best used for mercy-killing foes that you have already vigored the Comstock-loving snot out of. Take Murder of Crows. 
You throw these bad birds out and they start a pecking. I mean, really going at it, taking chunks of flesh and calling something fierce and just causing all kinds of mayhem. If you've wisely spent money to upgrade your vigor so every fallen enemy loses more crows upon this avian hellscape, pretty soon the streets look like a Hitchcock movie remade by Michael Bay. Ah! Too much bay! Too much bay! Okay, so, the, the crows are hard at work, and then you wade into the bird apocalypse, and with a machine gun sputter here, or a burst gun report there, you quiet things down until there's no noise but the rustling of feathers under your feet. It's almost peaceful. If you want a satisfying machine gun experience, you're gonna have to get yourself a crank gun. Which usually means prying one from El Presidente Robotico's cold, not technically dead because they were never alive, hands. These Mecha Manders in chief are surprisingly quick, so either stun them with Shock Jockey, or absorb their bullets and spit them right back out with an upgraded return to sender vigor. Then hoist that crank gun, find yourself a bunch of cranky Colombians, and wop up 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 your way to a brighter tomorrow. On the opposite end of the ammo usage spectrum, the shotguns. Point, fire, dead, done. The regular shotgun is great for dispatching those cudgel-wielding enemies that like to rush you, and the heater shotgun is great for when there are just, ugh, too many people in front of you, and can't they just catch on fire and die already? God! These two blunder beauties work wonders on those nearby, but they don't do much for those that want to keep their distance. And then you get the undertow vigor, and all of a sudden it doesn't matter where anyone on the battlefield wants to be, because if you want them next to you, they'll be next to you. And if you want them away from you, they're gonna be away from you. Just keep in mind that the whole keep your friends close and your enemies closer thing does not apply to handymen. Buy the undertow upgrade so you can grab multiple enemies simultaneously, perch on a balcony with your shotgun, and then snatch and blast your way to a pile of lootable corpses. Oh, I hope one of them has a cup of coffee. I'm dying over here. Or, if you feel a little short of air in the cold, thin atmosphere of this high-altitude habitat, Undertow's Super Soaker 200 mode will give you some breathing room. Is it ever not fun to hose blast your enemies off into the open sky? Was hosed? Hosed. Will be hosed. No, it is never not fun. Now, we at the gun show understand that it takes a while to get fully vigored up, and a kidnapper's gotta have some way to have fun in the early going. So here's what we suggest. The sniper rifle. The sniper rifle all day long. Throw down some shock jockey traps to keep those devout dogma devotees on their side of the electric fence, and then snipe to your heart's content. And speaking of hearts, the sniper rifle is the perfect way to arrest a handyman's heart. Especially if you've put some money into gun upgrades and are wearing that fancy gear what helps you reload faster. Generally speaking, the gun show doesn't recommend wasting money on gun upgrades in Bioshock Infinite, especially on normal difficulty. But if you've got a gat you like and a gal that regularly chucks money at your head, then hey, why not? I mean, the worst that happens is... Epa! <laughs> nice toss! The worst that happens is that you... Whoa! Hey, hey! <laughs> For someone who lived in a giant angel head her whole life, you got a pretty strong arm there, lady. Back to my point, gun upgrades aren't really... Yeah! Oh, okay, Elizabeth, that was a little close. Maybe some warning next time, please. Okay. As I was saying, Hats. Jimmy Comstock, that was a rifle, Elizabeth. You could have knocked me out cold. Hats. Take this over here. Take this. Hats. Here you go. Take it. Can't find anything. But is with you today. On it. God. More like see to the prophet, she'll stand like five feet away and chuck all sorts of junk at the head of man. Am I right? <laughs> you get it? Like the prophecy- Okay, alright, no need to get really, really violent. Thank- Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. The other rifle that old Blue Eyes over there will throw at you from time to time is the Carbine. This rapid-fire rifle is great for shooting skeet when you've got a bunch of enemies broncoed up in the air. And it's definitely worth diminishing the recoil with an upgrade. But then there are times when mere bullets just won't do the trick. Perhaps you're facing a large number of truculent foes, or maybe you just want to go all wounded knee on some dudes and blow them to smithereens. For this, we have the Volley Gun and its more populi cousin, the Hailfire. 
Both cause splashy explosions, which make it easier to rain death while skylining. But the Hailfire does this nifty times detonation trick that you can use to utterly decimate entire squads. If that's too subtle for you, then F it, man. Just RPG the profit-loving S out of those a-holes. H yeah! And throw some Devil's Kiss in there for good measure. Whose mountains are drowning in flame now, eh, boys? Where's the cleansing baptismal water when you need it, huh? Huh? Who's the dimwit now, Dad? Huh? Ah! 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 Ooh. 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 Deep breaths. Oh, okay. Well, when you find yourself all riled up, like uh, I just did, folks, the gun show recommends the cathartic rage outlet of the charge vigor. That thing goes from zero to murderous bludgeon in mere seconds. And if you've got the right gear or vigor boost, you can add fire or explosions to that murderous bludgeon. We here at the gun show consider it very therapeutic. <sighs> and with that, our time in Columbia draws to a close. But there's a lot more weapon and vigor combinations to try. Ever set your crows on fire? Broncoed a dude off an airship? Made a statue weep with eternal tears? Share your best stories, gear loadouts, vigor combos, and weapon tactics in the comments below. And hey, thanks for watching The Gun Show. Jesus. Oh my god! Thanks. Really? Still? With the throwing? Ah! Oh.